Hi there, I just thought I'd try and do a video on fitting a brake cutout sensor to Magura MT4 hydraulic uh, brake levers. I've already done the other side, that was a couple of months ago but at the time the supplier only had one of the levers in stock so I've still got the other side to do so I'll try and do that now from memory. I've already got it wired in, here's the, the plug sat ready to go. Um, so what I'd done, I'd bought a couple of leads uh, with a Heigo collector as they're called. So they have got them sat ready at the handlebars, so that one's already plugged in. So it runs the way down and the controller on this bike, the back feet, is down here. So I, I don't know exactly where the end is. but. You know, it's just wired in to here to go into the for the brake cut out for the controller. So that wire got two of them. One comes over to here, one's here ready to go for the next lever. This is the lever here that needs changed. <clears throat> and it's a wee while since I did the last one, but from what I remember, it's pretty straightforward. So you, you buy a new lever here. So this one's got the, that's a high go plug that's on it. And um, if you can see, it's got a high go closer, and it's got NO, so that means the switch is normally open. So um, when you pull the lever, it closes it. So you get the lever like that. Um, not cheap. It's fifty quid for the lever each. So a pair is hundred quid. It comes with a new pin, but you don't need that because you can just reuse old pin. So basically all you've got to do, and I don't want to disconnect the hoses or anything like that, so I'm just going to take out these two Torx bolts. And I've got a block of wood to use as a work stand, and I have that in here. You just knock the pin out basically, put the new lever on, knock the pin back in, get it sitting nicely, and that's about it. So tools you'll need is basically your um, Torx key, a punch of the right size and a wee hammer and a workbench or a block of wood I've got here just at the right height. So I'm not really good at filming stuff, I'm going to give this a bash and see if I can do it where you can actually still see it. So we'll just nip that plug off for a start. I've just put the tape on it to waterproof it previously. Um, Got these to take out. Can we see what we're doing? Sort of. T25 they are. Stick it in my pocket. There she off. Stick that in my pocket. Select a suitable punch. That one. I need a wee block of wood to sit on. I forgot that. You need some sort of block of wood with a hole in it. Whatever you've got lying about. I'm not really good at filming stuff. So I don't know how much you can see. The best size punch. So we're going to try and tap that pin out. It's moving. So you need the hole to put the, the pin through. Easier if you don't push the pin the whole way out, I would have said. I don't know if that's achievable or not. There we are. Just got to watch the spring when we put the things back together. See the wee spring? So that's that one off. Oh, 
Okay. Jeez, oh, it's falling to bits. That's really bad. You get a new pin, but you don't need it. And it's trying to figure out how it goes with the spring. It took me more of them, it took me two attempts last time. This is why you should have a look before you take these apart. It's chucking it down outside. So it's not an easy thing to show, but I think it has to go with a wee hook of the spring just there, you probably can't see it. If you get it wrong, all you've got to do is take a pin out and do it again. So it's no big deal. So we'll give it a bash at this and see if I've got it right. I think that spring's right. Just need to take a pin in a bit further yet. On now, I think that's right. That seems to be working. Two screws in the clamp. Nip it up. Right. Plug it in carefully. Watch there's a wee, you probably can't see it on the camera, but there's a wee sticky out bit there and my two pins. So try and get that right because it's pretty fragile. Plugged in. Obviously the wire need tied up a wee bit more. Right, we've got it connected up now. Just gotta check it works. Turn it on. Oh, can you see it? There we are. Trying to get it all on the camera. Can you See it lights up, a brake symbol. And it's quite a sensitive switch on it. So what it is, it's got the double pivot. That's the, the pivot where the pin was. So it operates the hydraulic part of it. And then there's a second pivot here. So the switch is between these two bits. The electric switch. Um, try and show you that. Look. There's a tiny, tiny bit of movement there. It's hard to see. It just moves a fraction, so that means the brake comes on. The, sorry, the brake cutout comes on before the brake is actually applied. applied. It's hard to show them both at the same time. You can just watch that screen there. So you can see it comes on. Just you've got to move it a fraction that comes on. It's ideal. It works well. And um, we'll just quickly see that's the other side too. So we've got both sides breaking, working with brake cutouts. Ideal. Bye bye.